and I. Congratulations. Is it your first alcoholic drink or is it something else? I don't know. Somebody give me. It's just a warm cup of tea, I think. I don't drink it, but uh, it's nice to hold it. <laughs> was this all planned, this crazy idea? No, it was, of course, it, it was not planned. It was stupid. So uh, <laughs> anyone who, who would uh, plan this would be, uh, yeah, his IQ would not be uh, very high. So, uh, yeah, but uh, sometimes in the race uh, you do stupid things and uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But uh, yeah, today uh, it worked and uh, yeah, it was an incredible day. I had good legs until like last lap, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I never gave up and uh, pushed through. It was an incredible day. Remco and Mathieu, they said that they looked at each other there at 100k to go and they thought it was stupid. I mean, when you're up the road, did you start to have doubts? Were you start thinking, well, what's my other plan if this doesn't work out? Well, uh, at first I, I was like, oh, this is so stupid. And then I saw Jan waited for me. I was like, okay, yeah, let's go. We we got this. When Jan is Jan is Jan. Jan is uh, flying, and and uh, yeah, he pulled incredible strong. And uh, I was uh, really happy that he was there. Uh, he pushed uh, to the next climb, but uh, yeah, it was still uh, many laps to go. So. Then when I had to go again, it was again, uh, luckily Paul was there with me, but uh, yeah, um, so I could still, uh, we cooperate a little bit. And then uh, when Paul was dropped, it was again a stupid idea. So yeah, it was a bit, uh, it was uh, everything today happening. And yeah, I was just, uh, in the end it worked. So I'm really happy. The rainbow jersey, Ted, I think it's there underneath that jumper jacket. I mean, you, you get to wear this all year. Yeah, um, um, yeah. I, I cannot wait now to go to to race in in Italy. Uh, the last three races with this jersey already. Uh, this is uh, yeah, yeah, dreams come true. Uh, I mean, yeah, dreams. I I didn't even dare to dream to have uh, a Rambo jersey when I was a kid. So this uh, it even means even more now. Well, tell me the truth. What was going on between you and Primos? Did you guys have a game plan today? Was he going to work for you? Last question. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, just before I went, he was like, he looked me. I go. I say, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we can try not to 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 bridge you across as well. And he attacked, um, but he couldn't uh, shake off uh, really. Um, and uh, they follow him, but it was perfect for me then to go. But uh, yeah, it was uh, really early to go. Well, Ben. That silver medal, it must feel like a gold for you because, uh, you know, being with those riders today, you're no slouch, but you don't have that power kick punch that would take to beat the riders that you're racing with. But you did do what you should have done, I think, in that solo attack there. Yeah. Uh, you're proud of that. Yeah, I guess it's <laughs> something I've done my whole career, but um, it was perfect timing. And uh, to be honest, I, I had plenty of big, big moves I had to do earlier to close gaps to get in front as well. I think probably the worst is trying to get across is Remco and, and Matthew to, to Mark, and I think it was Enric that was in front as well. This was, this was horrible. Um, so there's lots of defining moments in this race. Incredible circuit is hard, and uh, yeah, to come out now with, with second is, uh, is a huge, huge, huge result for, for me and for the Aussie boys. Yeah, let's not forget how hard it is for national teams sometimes to come together, but you guys did it seamlessly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was Jay Vine uh, out there mm -hmm. setting the attack, uh, I think a lap maybe before Tade launched his attack mm -hmm. and forming that escape. So, I mean, Australia really rode well today. You're proud of how it all came together. And how difficult is it to come together as a national team when you're not used to racing together? Oh, I reckon Aussies are pretty good at it. You know, I think camaraderie is you know one of the one of the traits within the nation so uh you know we we've had plenty of chats together as a team with the boys and you know this there's, there's, there's no egos you know we all have done results throughout our career we know where we stand where our strengths are how to play it and uh i actually have to give credit to the boys because they were also knocking my head saying no, you're good you're good because at the start it didn't really feel like that so yeah it's this is for aussie cycling not just for me well, a couple of important second places for you here at the Vuelta and now at the Worlds. What do you have to say, one, for Tadej Pogacar and what he did today? Also, give us the insider view there on the other big superstars uh, with Remco and Mathieu, what was going on back there. 
we see it all the time and never no rider ever wants to cooperate after one rider goes up the road so what was the talk yeah there was a bit of there was definitely a sit up um, but I don't know I guess in the end actually when when Belgium started riding it was proper yeah yeah like that was real hard and they teed it up and Remco did some pretty huge pulls and pretty big attacks um, and it was kind of like just gradual fatigue that was just sinking in every single lap but we were still riding hey um, yeah to, I don't know how long Tade was solo for himself but he, he did a huge ride today because like 65 70 k yeah so. I mean we were still riding especially with the two laps to go we were actually swapping off um, and yeah it wasn't slow um, so impressive ride and you shouldn't expect anything less from, from Hog. Is it kind of cool to see, although it's not you winning, is it kind of cool to see this slice of history being made? Yeah, it was uh, pretty epic. I was actually on his wheel when he when he launched. I tried for a little bit. I wasn't on the wheel straight away after the attack, and then I was like, oh, well, it's not even at any point. So, yeah, I guess I guess it's just uh, how it is in, in modern cycling. You know, he's, he's the best in the world, and I think he's a fitting world champ. But you, you don't look too happy. What's going on? <laughs> oh, maybe you are. You don't, what's going on through your mind right now and uh, kind of how the last 70K unfolded there? I am happy, but I'm just a bit uh, fucked from the race. It was incredibly hard. And um, though I think I can be super satisfied with my performance today. Um, I think it's also one of the best I've ever done on a course like this. So um, I'm actually quite proud on this bronze medal. And you had Molum up there for a long time helping you out. I guess the, a lot of us were scratching our head. Well, why don't why doesn't Mathieu and Remco, the two super greats, work together and pull back <laughs> Pogacar? Explain to the viewer why this doesn't work out. I think everybody tried, but everybody was just on the limit. It's yeah, difficult to explain how hard this race was uh, already from far for him. We started racing and then, yeah, the attack from that day was a bit unexpected, I would say, uh, with 100 kilometer to go. and. Um, yeah, from there on, it was just full gas until the finish line. Yeah, Remco said that you guys looked at each other and thought it was a bit of a suicide move when he went. Yeah, for sure. I thought it was quite a stupid move, to be honest, yeah. uh, to go from that far, also with the teams behind controlling the race. But yeah, he proved uh, he proved us wrong. Yeah, why does it work out then? Because he's the strongest. <laughs> and maybe behind, you guys just couldn't get it together. I mean, it was just too hard and everybody was tired on their limit. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think uh, we were looking at each other. I think everybody was just yeah, cooked a bit at the end. And um, yeah, he was just incredibly strong today. Is there any disappointment uh, with your ride today? I mean, you had the jersey all last year. You had the gold medal in Glasgow and you come away with the, a bronze here that matches the jersey quite well. <laughs> um, is there any disappointment with the day, Matthew? No, not at all. I'm, uh, I'm proud. I think yeah, if you see in the, in the group I'm at, it's only climbers. So I can be happy uh, with my performance. Tell us a bit about the about the final kilometer kilometers when when uh, Ben went away. Um, that needed to happen. Eh? That somebody somebody <laughs> goes and they don't wait for, wait for the sprint. What did you think? Yeah, that's why I also attacked on the last climb. I wanted to go away for because I was really yeah eager to get a medal um, because I knew yeah this situation was going to happen. Uh, they knew I was the fastest in the sprint, so I knew they would attack me, and um, yeah, I couldn't respond to everybody. So. Um, yeah, in the end, I was yeah, really focused on trying to get a medal here today, so I'm happy to be on the podium.